so excited you're here today because I'm going to be talking about some summer horror book recommendations, some books you get to read during summer while I guess ignoring the heat or trying not to let the heat get to you. I love summer. I love walking around uh, the graveyard here, Hollywood Cemetery, and I love uh, going down to the river and having fun down there or just hanging out in my hammock out back. Uh, I think it's a blast and it's a perfect time for some reading. Uh, and yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Uh, I have The Nest by Gregory A. Douglas. This is terrifying. This is about people trapped on Cape Cod while there's a storm going on and there's a bunch of giant cockroaches. And these cockroaches have teeth that are so sharp they like eat the bones of people too. Uh, this is a great uh, eco horror slash animal attacks book. Uh, it is fantastic. It's so gross. It will have you so itchy uh, and it's a fantastic summer read. The next book I'm going to recommend is more of like a vacation horror but it does take place during summer and that is Survivor by J.F. Gonzalez. Uh, this is extreme horror and it's about snuff film situation happening. And, um, it is so ridiculous though. It is so zany the beginning of it. How the bad guys uh, kidnap uh, this woman is ridiculous and so convoluted. I'm like how was this published? Like where was yeah, is there an editor with this? I don't know. Uh, but it is very funny like to think about just the wackiness of the situation and then there's some other wacky characters in this. Uh, this is just like an easy an easy read while being very disturbing and effective and uh, easy thing like I wouldn't say like bring it to the beach or anything but if you're looking for something easy to fly through this summer uh, that will keep your attention and you like and you enjoy extreme horror uh, definitely check it out. The next book I actually don't have a physical copy of yet because I'm still debating on which version I want to get and that is The Elementals by Michael McDowell. You guys know I love a Michael McDowell book and he actually has a lot of books that will work during summer. Uh, the Blackwater Saga will work during summer as well. The Cold Moon Over Babylon will also work for summer. Um, a lot of his books take place in the south and take place during the summer. Uh, and The Elementals is the best one. This was my first Michael McDowell book that I read and I do recommend it as a starting off point. Uh, this is a slow burn gothic, southern gothic horror uh, and it takes place at the beach with these Victorian beach houses uh, and it mostly takes place during the day. So spooky stuff is happening while the sun is up and you're at the beach and then there's very scary <laughs> stuff happening in this one house. Uh, there is a bit of family drama in this, uh, but the characters were so good. Um, there's some great monologues in this, uh, and it's just really beautiful overall story. Very creepy. Oh, it's giving me goosebumps thinking about what happens in this book. Also, I read this book in the dark uh, on an ebook. Uh, it is available on script on ebook, and it, it was terrifying. So, highly, highly suggest checking out The Elementals this summer. This book is on every summer horror recommendation <laughs> list out there. Uh, and you know, it is a long one. It might take you all summer to read, but I think it's so good. And that is The Ruins of by Scott Smith. Uh, this is very long and it's pretty dry writing but I got so creeped out by this. I think I was reading this while I was on vacation somewhere. I was camping and there was like a lot of vines and stuff around so I was I was scared. Uh, so this is about some people that go to Mexico or Cancun. They're in Cancun and then they're like oh we have to go find this guy that we we met friend or brother um, and he had this sketchy map and they go to these ruins when they get there uh, the indigenous people will not let them leave um, for reasons uh, <laughs> there's some scenes in this book that I will never forget and oh I'm just thinking about it too like the elementals like it's just stuck in my brain and I read this years ago and it has stuck with me since so I will always recommend it as a great summer read uh it's a great eco horror uh the characters in it are awful you are in their heads way too much I think but overall when stuff happens to them you're like okay <laughs> 
Oh no! <laughs> the next book I'm going to recommend is Summer of Night by Dan Simmons. Uh, this is another long one, but I feel like it read pretty quickly and I believe the audio is on Scribd. Uh, and yeah, this is a coming of age story. It's about a group of friends that have to conquer a big baddie that is in an abandoned school. Very creepy, lots of very creepy um, sequences in this and action sequences. Uh, Dan Simmons is always a good time for me. I, I don't think I've ever rated any of his books lower than a four star. Um, they've always been so super, super solid reads, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, and I highly suggest checking this one out if you are into coming of age stories. Uh, this is a good one. And one of my favorite books I read this year is a summer horror book that I read in winter. Uh, and that is The Cotton Candy Massacre by Christopher Robertson. I loved this book. It is fantastic. It is set up like a 1980s slasher film at the beginning. Uh, even if you read like the introduction or like the synopsis, it is very much set up like that. Uh, this is about a carnival uh, where you're at the beginning, something goes wrong. <laughs> There's something bad happens involving a cotton candy machine. And then I think it's 20 years later, this particular carnival is reopening. It is the 80s and then you're following the teenagers uh, into this opening day of the carnival. It's very hot, uh, it's crowded, and some stuff goes down with the cotton candy. Uh, lots of great imagery in this too. I feel like you could see every color, every drip of blood in this. It's so well written uh, and I highly suggest checking this one out. The next book I'm going to recommend is Manhunt by Gretchen Flecker Martin. Uh, this is like a zombie apocalypse book. Uh, post-apocalypse I guess or like they're going through an apocalypse. Basically all of the men have turned feral uh, and you're following two trans women that have to hunt the feral men and eat a certain part of that feral man. <laughs> this book is so brutal. Uh, there's lots of violence in this. I think this does, this is Ex leans extreme. Uh, it's very brutal. It's very bloody. It's very hot and sweaty and like, um, what's the word? It feels like claustrophobic at times. And it's just, it's just an excellent story. I would love to see this on film. Um, it's very cinematic, some of the stuff that happens in this. And it also leans into like some of my favorite like body horror tropes in horror. Uh, and highly suggest checking out Manhunt if you haven't read it yet. It is a perfect summer horror read. The next book I'm gonna recommend is When the Reckoning Comes by Latanya McQueen. Uh, this takes place, I believe in North Carolina during the summer. It is a woman who goes back to her hometown for her friend's wedding. And it's taking place on a plantation and it's very uncomfortable because they have like reenactment actors and stuff. I mean that's horrifying anyways and that is a horrifying setup to this story uh, and then stuff is revealed as it comes along and there's a lot of ghosts in this uh, and I was very surprised by the gore in this uh, that happens as you can see the letters are bleeding and there is a lot of blood in this uh, and it is like a summary bloody ghost time. Fun time, I should say. And you guys know I had to talk about this book as one of my favorite summer horror books, and that is My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. Uh, this takes place during summer. Curse the Reaper takes place during winter, so it, they even each other out, I guess. Uh, so this is a slasher, uh, but this is like a very a very different slasher. I guess it's very meta slasher. It reminds me of Scream, but like on a a hundred million level of scream because we are with Jade Daniels the whole time and she's obsessed with slashers and she's seen so many slasher movies and she studied them and she knows all the rules uh, and then her town of Proof Rock is having a slasher situation and she's trying to figure out who the final girl is going to be and who the slasher is uh, and it's fantastic. Oh my gosh, the opening of this is just one of my favorite openings of a book of all time. It's so good. It's so cinematic. It's so scary. It grips you. It like hooks you in. Uh, and then being with Jade is not easy. I'm not going to say this is an easy book <laughs> to read by any means. Uh, Jade is frustrating at first, but then you, you really you grow to love her. You love Jade. Jade is one of my favorite characters of all time. Um, and yeah, 
it's a devastating book as well. There's some sad stuff in this, but the finale is so fantastic. It's so, so good. Uh, and yeah, I loved Curse the Reaper as well, but highly, highly recommend My Heart is a Chainsaw to read this summer. And then the last book I have to recommend is Ghoul by Brian Keene. Uh, this is a coming of age story. A group of boys get together to conquer a big baddie. Uh, a ghoul, like a straight up ghoul under the cemetery. It is a nasty book. The, <laughs> this book is so gross. It also has one of those openings that is like very 80s movie uh, greatness, I guess. <laughs> Two kids in a car, you know, hooking up uh, in uh, a graveyard and the ghoul comes up and um, yep. <laughs> That's all I could say, I guess. Uh, this also fits for like a creature feature and so does Summer of Night. So Summer of Night, coming of age story and creature feature. Uh, but yeah, highly suggest Ghoul if you're just looking for something easy to read by the pool. So there you have it. Those are some summer horror book recommendations. I also did a slasher uh, book recommendation that are on KU and all of those slashers will work for summer as well. Uh, I'm making my way through some um, slashers as of this week uh, that I haven't read before on KU and I have more summer recommendations as of now for that list so another one might come out a little later on in summer or when summer actually starts because we're not quite there yet it's technically still spring right uh, but let me know what your favorite summer horror book is uh, let me know in the comments down below and I hope you guys have a great day bye